and just move it all over the lid i just really want to coat the entire lid and up into the crease so i have been really listening to those of you who want me to do more like like not more but do lives in general and i've been really really listening to you and i think after some planning and some research and some thought i have found a live format that i think is going to really really work for me I'm planning on doing it once a week. I don't know for sure what the day will be. I get a lot of questions in my comments. And if you know, if you ask me a question, I'm very responsive. I, I, you know, I do as much as I can. But sometimes to answer the question, it would be better if I could visually show you what it, the answer. So I think I'm going to do, what I'll do is I'll make a list of the questions that people have asked. But I think some of the questions that may benefit more from a visual answer like if someone's like, what are you putting in the part? Or how do you do this? Um, I'll answer it on these lives. Next, I'm going to use this shade called Echoes. A very dark purple shade. Dark shades usually take a little bit of building up. They can be hard to formulate and also have fallout. So I'm going to make sure that I'm tapping my brush off. But do you think that you would enjoy that type of situation? It'll be like half an hour to an hour long, depending on what the topic is and yeah I think that that would be a good way for me to do lives where my thing is just like when I do these like I edit out so much of like me just rambling about stupid stuff and I know some people really like that and they want to and then when you're live you can interact with me I've been wanting to add lives as I have said before, if you watched any of my videos where I explain why I don't do lives currently, um, part of it is because like I am moody. <laughs> I don't mind saying it, I'm a moody person. Um, I also sometimes like, my son and my partner are just like sort of last minute type people and I'm really, really not. And so I feel like my schedule changes quite rapidly, even if I don't want it to. I'm really working this into the crease just to darken up that crease. So I feel like doing it once a week but not committing to a particular day like you you know letting you know at least a few hours in advance or hopefully like a few days in advance that i'm going to be doing the live i will really really try to do that but i think that i was just getting caught up in like doing it every week at this particular time and i didn't feel like i could do that i kind of like let myself off the hook and I'm feeling much, 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 much better about it. All right, I'm taking this flat brush. I got these brushes, like someone gave them to me. They had gotten them on Amazon or something. They have these great flat brushes and that's good for shimmers on the lid. So I'm gonna go into the shade called Moves. And I'm gonna end up wetting my brush just to bring the color up, but let's put it on and see what it looks like dry without any, uh, without wetting the brush. Oh, look at the fallout. There's fallout. When you wet your brush, you don't get fallout like that. But I did want to show you how this shadow performs. Should you tug on your eye like that? No. Am I going to continue to do it? Yeah. <laughs> Let me show you what it does when you wet it. I'm using this Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I do not like Morphe, but I love this setting spray. So it just is what it is. So I'm going to wet the brush. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That just took it to the next level. You can kind of see that it really pops more on this eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the other eye. Like, I do so much research. I have research for videos that could literally last me years. So it's not like I need your ideas, but I really love your input. And if there's a particular thing, hi. There's a particular thing you would like me to discuss or talk about or whatever. But I'm into this like purple moment. I was watching, who was I watching? I was watching, I think her name's Leora. She does a lot of that like going into TJ Maxx and letting you know what's in there. Um, and she's from New York. And she had this gorgeous purple look that she had made with the Huda Beauty Amethyst palette. And I don't have that palette. I do have like a hundred and something palettes, by the way, but I don't have that palette. I actually was never interested in it. Um, then I saw her and I'm like, should I get it? But I think I can actually get the same look with this palette. So I'm going to go back over and just sort of 
go along the edge. Now we're going to take that duochrome on a finger and just go right over in the center. I'm like home alone and it just freaks me out sometimes. Like it's legit during the day, but I'm home by myself and I watch a ton of true crime. Like originally, so I've talked about this before, but not in a long time in terms of on my channel. But I have um, a degree in applied behavioral science and then a master's degree in community psychology and social change. I did actually start my PhD. I didn't finish it. I got three or four years done in uh, organizational psychology. But originally I was going to school for forensic psychology. And I really wanted to focus on working with serial killers. Then I did an internship at a prison and found out exactly how it is in there. And that they're really not trying to rehabilitate anybody. And I was jaded for a little bit, but behavioral science really gave me a lot in terms of, I'm going to take this powder off because we're, we're, I feel like that is going to be the eye look in terms of the main look. I've used behaviorism in so many facets of my life. I was a therapist for kids and I did a lot of behavior change situations, um, but I was a life coach for a long time. I had my own business, like before life coaching was a thing actually, because I mean, Avery is 17. And when I started my life, when I got certified as a life coach and started my life coaching business, he was maybe like one. And I did that pretty successfully. And I used a lot of the behavioral sort of just ideas and techniques. Um, then I started working in nonprofit um, with and kids. I use the behavioral uh, knowledge that I have in, in every, honestly, in every facet of my life. I'm in training and development. So a lot of the ideas in terms of how you approach people for training and, and being able to you know, meet them where they are and, and get your training across to them in an effective way, the training and development really helps. Okay, or I'm sorry, the behavioral stuff really helps. I'm going to take the same brush and go along this part of my eye, the underneath the lash line. I really, really feel like this makes a difference in not making your eye look look so stark, especially because I do put powder under my eyes. It just breaks it up so it doesn't look like with and without it just gives it a little bit of, of a dimension and I'm using that same night call that we used all over the lid this is my second attempt at doing sort of a get ready with me and I didn't do them because I, I thought well a they're long and I didn't know if people would really like it um but you know people have asked so I'm trying to do a little bit of what you ask I mean I always do a lot of what you ask but you know what I mean so I want something for the inner corner this is from I have a lot of real techniques. This is from Real Techniques. I'm not sure. It was one of their like Christmas specialty collection things. I wait till they come to TJ Maxx because these are so expensive, like especially like the limited edition holiday. Then they go to TJ Maxx or Marshalls and you can get them for like the price they should be, honestly. They're very high quality brushes. And okay. the ones that I have, they have lasted for a very, 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 very long time. So I'm just gonna go in the inner corner with this. I like to highlight the inner corner. For me, it makes me feel like um, I look a little bit more like awake. I'll probably go back over that with highlighter, but I'm good with it where it's at. All right, so that's where we are with the palette itself. Now see what this looks like. So this is what it looks like. Yeah, this is a duochrome. So it's actually sort of like, it's this one here, pinkish lavender. Which isn't bad, but it's not going to work out for what we need. Sorry, Disney princesses. I have a love-hate relationship with Disney, but that's another thing that we don't necessarily need to talk about. All right, so I need to go wash my hands. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put on my liquid liner. I always just use black. One of my favorites is the ColourPop BFF liquid liner in black. So we'll use that. I also have some of their gel liners. These are my favorite, especially for the lash line. But... I think these might be a little too dark for what we're going for, but let's see. The Sonic Bloom collection, maybe? And it says it's in the shade, oh, it looks blue. Crystal Crush, oh, would blue work? It, it might, oh yeah, that's that. So it looks like this. I mean, that's pretty. That is a very bright poppy blue. I'm not sure it's gonna work for this, what we're talking about today. Yeah, maybe this, this is from their teal collection that they had hang teal gotta love the puns and so this is a duo and it has zulu and katsu i feel like i have katsu 
I have cat suit. Oh my goodness. So I have a bunch of new liners that I'm putting in. Um, I'm going to sell on Poshmark. They're brand new. So we're going to put this to the side because I already have cat suit. This is all my gel liners. So I have a few. And this one, let me make sure I don't have this one too. Zulu. I don't think so. I think Zulu was a new shade. I don't. I think this might be a good one. Ooh, Let's go ahead and use that. Let me go wash my hands and then we'll go put, we'll put the eyeliners on. So let's go ahead and use this liquid liner. So I'm gonna run it right along the lash line. And then I just go up like that. Now we're gonna go in with this Zulu on the uh, waterline. These are so good for the waterline. They last, they don't, they don't bother me. I don't have, I shouldn't say that I don't have sensitive eyes, but part of it is like, I just goop on my eyeshadow and I feel like I just get it in my eyes a lot. <laughs> to build the color up sometimes especially on these like lighter ones i'm just gonna go back over with this just to open it up a little bit since now we put the liner this is the fresh kiss lip creme. creme and this is from their new one of their new they have a new collection like every week like for real this is their one of their new collection mm. This is called Bee Spice. I think it's called like the plush collection or something. It's supposed to be like a 90s situation. I love, love a 90s situation. First of all, I love the 80s and 90s period. I love just, you only ever see me really in nudes, uh, especially those brown nudes. Um, that's really pretty. I think we're probably gonna use that, but let's look at the other thing I got was from the Tinkerbell collection. I didn't get too, too much. The Tinkerbell palette was very similar to the Mandalorian, the Baby Yoda palette, and I already had that. This is a glossy lip stain. I've never tried either one of these formulas. And this is called Clap If You Believe. I just, like, their artwork is insane. So that's what it looked like. That's what it looked like. And it has, like, sparkles in it. I don't know, maybe we'll try this. I watched this channel called Makeup Just For Fun. And... I don't know let's try this because it's a stain and then if we want to go back over it we can you really prep your lip and I have like powder and stuff on mine I'm gonna go in with this Too Faced lip balm I got it in a little set like a birthday set or something it's almost done so I just want to use it I'm actually watching this show too I'm watching it on Netflix I think it's on regular I don't have regular cable so I'm watching on Netflix and it's called all the murders in the building and it's like it's so good. It's like a true crime, sort of a comedy show, but it's about these people who met through a podcast, doing a podcast about a murder. They met through a true crime podcast, and then they started to do, do a podcast about a murder. This is a very interesting formula. It almost feels like it's pretty wet and it's not overly opaque. I don't know that it's supposed to be. I mean, it's a lip stain. I don't really know how to describe it. It's quite thin. I usually wear matte lipstick, so I don't know if that's what I'm like waiting for. I can see the sparkle. There's sort of a like a, a minty taste to it, but like spearmint, not peppermint. It's pretty. And the benefit of a lip stain is like once it's gone, it's just gonna like wear down like sort of naturally. I don't know, we'll see. All right, so let's go ahead and put on lashes. I was gonna use these ones that I got from Kiss and they're the Hocus Pocus. They're from their uh, Halloween release this year. But I do have actually uh, ColourPop Hocus Pocus limited edition lashes from last Halloween. And this is in the style Flirty Witch. So we'll just go ahead and use these uh, because we're doing ColourPop. Yeah, if you've watched All the Murders in the Building, like tell me what you think of it. And just in general, like what shows are you watching? Like on Netflix or Hulu? Any recommendations? Okay, so those are pretty much drying. Uh, this is a little bit tacky, but not much. I really, I like it. I wish this may be a little bit more brown, but I think I could like rock with it. 
Um, okay, so I didn't get any blush or bronzer or anything in this haul that I have from ColourPop, but I do have some because I have a lot of makeup. We're going to go ahead and use a bronzer from the Coconut Collection, and this is Talk to the Palm. Wow. Okay. And this brush I got is from Langnickel. I get it. You can get it at Walmart, I think. I think they're the same as Moda. I think Royal and Lang Nickel are like a private label. So like they have their own brushes, but then you can like make your own brushes and put your name on it. And I'm pretty sure that Moda are Royal and Lang Nickel. Not sure how the interaction is, but I put a little bronzer on my forehead, even though I don't put foundation. I have a ton of blushes, but I noticed I didn't use this one. Let's try this. This was from their mm, like dark, sort of their dark florals. This was, mm, I want to say, originally came out for Christmas or something last year. And this one is called Palatial. I'm pretty sure these are still available. I'm going to use, I'm going to use, I'm going to go ahead and use this, um, Real Techniques brush. This was from their, I think, holiday two years ago. Or maybe that one was two years ago. I'm not really sure. It was one of their holiday collections. And I am gonna... That's pretty pigmented. Put it on the cheeks. I like a lot of blush. Probably too much, but I don't care. And then I'm gonna top it off with this one. This was from the Sailor Moon collection. You can see... I was a little older for Sailor Moon. Let me know if you watched Sailor Moon. And this is called Cat's Eye. And it looks like this. It's got a little bit of sparkle, so I'm gonna put that right on the, the balls and ridge. You can see a little bit of sparkle in there. I like sparkles, I don't care. People are like, oh, you're too old for this or that. I don't really care. I like sparkles and I'm gonna use it, period. And then, the two highlighters I have right now are, this one is from the Villains, Disney Villains, and this is actually called a Super Shock Highlighter. You can see it's like, um, so that's a little bit of a different formula, and I think it's like a, yeah, sort of like a goldy color. And then this one is from the Disney Designer Collection called Horse and Carriage, and this is just a powder. You can see I used it quite a bit. It is really, like, chunky, though. I love the shade, but it's very like powdery. But like what, 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 what? All right, so I am going to use this e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. That's what I use for my highlight. And I'm gonna go right along here and just around to the eye. That's what I like for my face shape. Like we all have different face shapes. So I really encourage you to get to know your face shape and know where makeup placement makes sense best for you. Like what? And then I'm gonna go in with sort of just this. This one is a flower beauty brush just to blend that highlight in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And I'm gonna put a little bit just on the ridge of my nose. Yeah, the only thing I want to do is I'm going to use this uh, all-nighter powder, powder from Urban Decay. I also got this 50% off. I'm going to use that just to set my face, especially here. I'm actually going to wet the, my sponge with this Evian. This is just water. It's like a aerosol water. And I'm just going to go in with this sort of damp brush into the powder. And tap it where I want to make sure that I'm going to set, especially like right here. And last but not least, I take my Morphe setting spray. Now, do you need to put this much makeup on? No. But when I put makeup on, I put makeup on. And I, and this is going to be the sort of final look. And so this is Miss Peggy from Motown Trust. And you will see her in my video on whether I should keep it or get rid of it, sort of chopping block. This is the final look that we came up with, with the It's a Mood palette. I like it. You know what, I think I'm gonna do one thing, is just run this same brush with that 
light highlighter just right yeah just to pop it a little bit more and that's what we have all right, well, thank you for staying so long if you're still here. If you like these types of videos um, here and there on my channel, go ahead and let me know down below. Also give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so and become one of my little doll babies. And if you have subscribed, thank you so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.